he steps up. I mean, we were so focused on the volatility of this top side of the map. Bot is over. Bot is completely over. We BB is gonna die on the crash here. Is he gonna die though? Oh, he got knocked out of the spear. Did he not have W? The intricacies of the matchup not as important as the fact that it was a 2v1. Doesn't matter how fast the dash, if there's a jungler there. But so he used it on the, really yeah, he used behind, it, right? Do you think in the context of the matchup, it's a huge loss? Like, is it very swingy? I mean, at this point, he probably has to wait until he doesn't have TP, but he can run back. It's not the worst. He might lose like a melee, and that's it. For all in, and then you disengage. Oh, the crocs are spawning. Yeah, the minions, you can kind of get all the health back and look for a second all in. But now he's gonna be really struggling. Do them over the wall, maybe? No. You see a bramble vest coming in from Nidalee. Yeah, this sweeper. Does not want to give this guy any agency. No sums on their bot lane. Alvaro is gonna face check this, maybe. around with Mickey. You remember, there's no summoner spells at all. Alvaro, let's have the stand beside me. Oh, the e-flash miss from Yike. Stunned, he missed the, the e-flash. Oh. Because of that, Super is able to walk away. Lose about half his health. Caps once again in the mid lane, struggling a little All bit. All he needs to do is wait for Rel. Phase. And Finn, you don't have to stay here the whole time as a nope. Are there any more intricacies about this matchup you want us to know before you head off? No, I was going to say, I think Broken Dead can be very happy that his bottom is doing so good. Because that means <laughs> that you best can't just keep coming top and top. You actually Ew. have to attend to that. Ew, uh, uh, Bramble Best be Nidalee. To always go top now, Ew. Broken Dead would be in a very tough spot. And again, can you just run us through builds that you expect for both top laners? I imagine we're going to see some kind of on-hit Nidalee build, usually with a Trinity Force into tank items, maybe a Thunder Sky. While well, Red is going to go for the Blade into probably whatever tank Bruce item she feels like, Wits and something like this. Right, well, thank you so much for yeah. your insight. Thank Holding you. the wave. Appreciate it. Can he hold the Crest of Creeps out of the range? That means BB can't Summer crash Finn, the wave. Top lane extraordinaire. Um, absolutely excellent insight is for Scary. Oh, he caps no mana. Does he have mana for WEQ? Yeah, can BB crash that wave? He should be able to. He just hit six and he sees five mid. All right. Volatility across the board, right? Trades, heavy trades down in bot side when you wouldn't really expect it. Neutral, you know, you, you'd <laughs> expect the really to be fairly neutral despite there being a uh, Draven on the enemy team. And the top side, that's where I really expected all the volatility to be, but even in mid lane, Flash has popped as well. I don't so have to watch Orn first or anything. For El Yoya, once he has ultimate cry. onto the Azir. Looks like the Broken Blade. Oh, actually, opting for early attack speed rather than getting any lifesteal within the early matchup. We'll see how much that influences as Mewin's Ignite is going to be off cooldown relatively Text soon. Text flashing out of the bush. Flash. No ult on Frescoey. Cap just needs to push out. He has TP. Bot doesn't look fun for Super. Where I'm seeing Hansama walk up on the minimap. Miss Raven is walking up into Zeri's face. Alvaro should be fine. As a quick avenue towards mid. Get some vision in. Mewen, the last the, person the to play Nidalee top in major regions was the shy the to poor one out for my homie. Right, so utilizing the bushes and got first blood, solo killed, and then was useless the whole game. Crash, so my man. Really well. Now, we've seen supports move mid a lot in that was this last series, year. but the problem of Alvaro doing that now is that Han Summit is two levels up. Super's very close to level five, which he's going to take over to now. You can see why Super has to respect now this he's a so Valorant much. Pro. That's going to be a lot of farm lost. The plates being secured for Han Summer is pro. massive as well, and this bot side <laughs> of is starting to get very uh, problematic. For look at top side. I think that, yeah, there could be an all-in here. Like, he has ultimate now, and level six is a very big in. power spike. Flawless well, then he's dead. Oh, it's a one for one, but the wave should crash. Both the top laners trading their lives in a gladiatorial battle. And that's a huge wave lost as well for Mirwin. He doesn't have TP to get back to lane. He has Ignite. The level six power spike on Aurelia is absolutely Maybe massive. with the steel caps, he gets there to catch a lot of it because the cannon looked like it was in range, but the range creeps damaged. weren't. So, so you can see it's like they're stacking in front of the wave. So I think BB loses the wave. I mean, Mirwin catches and they're both even still. The casters didn't crash, now they crash, and now BB gets, uh, Mirwin gets a big wave. Ever so slightly in favor of Mirwin, he's able to still catch a lot of that farm. Uh, intense reaction from Broken Blade. <laughs> Servant clicking. <laughs> yeah. There we are. There we go. So he W's the Q from the spear, and then finds the ulti, and then finds, you know, chains the marks. 
Unfortunately, misses the E, but it's a one for one, and the wave state is just fantastic. And he wasn't quite in range. Wave was not that great. Out of it, to it didn't. The casters didn't I crash. If he opted for the Rico bow instead. Oh my god! He didn't want life yeah, I just saw him. Best anti -heal. I think that probably is everything. Also for the the threshold on the minion kills with the Q. It may have also been that he was just short on gold, so yeah. that was just the best item he could buy with the amount of money that he had. Uh, either way, MDK now turned their attention to the bot side of the jungle. Yike knows something's up. Yike he knows something's up. That is not a safe place to go. W on Zyra gives it a bit of vision. I think G2 out, so maybe... Is in the I was thinking maybe Alpha some kind of swap is good here for G2. But is it worth breaking early as lane phase? I'm not sure. That would have been stolen away from him at that moment. Blade looking for that fall Looks like not. He jumped into the wall. He has ult up again here, I think, TB. Is it up? Is it up? I can't tell on the top right. Looks like no. From the Aurelia, who dashes back in with a double blade search. Fallers, uh, Vanguard's Edge is available for BB as well. Defiant Dance oh, he missed. to reduce some of the damage. Dashes back and gets to the cannon. That Q reset. Paying dividends for Broken Blade. The ult cooldown was very close there. It looked like it was off cooldown and he didn't throw it out, but it was actually like five seconds away. Fire's top. So not going to find the all in there, but nice trade. Series uh, all inning to. Super commits the ultimate. I think it's well, a push out, I guess. That one off. I think Super just wants to clear out the wave a little quicker so that he can go back to base. And uh, yeah, not too much going to happen off the back of that. So nothing too ambitious from him. Ayoya hovering around the top side. So wave is in a nice spot for Mia Win. I really want to see Vi actually full center up topside because the trades are completely volatile, right? They, they, they are trading off of every single wave and all in inconsistently. And with the point and click from the R on Vi, I think it could be a free kill if they want to. You can even send up supports, and that's exactly what Mickey X is going to do on these grub spawns. This itemization from Mew and Alvaro and Fuscawi are moving too, though, buddy. Oh, a lot of people are up here. Broken Blade has the ultimate available. All right. Yeah, when Irelia gets Blade, I think she's going to murder Nidalee. For Irelia to just kind of capitalize on once you no grubs taken yet she do have the first trade so caps has been quietly farming against well frisco it's pretty even craven's up a lot of gold they are very, very close. here's so the swap the that i was talking about for grubs not, not a full swap but they're here needs minions, so generally you want to fight in the lane they need to get these grubs and hit top tower quick though Irelia doesn't have tp for bot tower this is a bit scuffed for g2 hans kind of wants to run bot right now or just take over top i suppose you could stack up the mites he needs to run quick either that or caps goes down there because this is not great. Right. Hans Summer is so strong right now with a BF sword and a vamp scepter on his way to that BT. Okay, well, now Matt can engage if they want, so Yike might lose Flash because Hans needs to run bot. And now Yike dies for all of this sequence. Eliora will chase him with the cease and desist, but the strangled thorns coming out means Mickey's here for the Magnus Storm. Or does he? Yeah, he did. And Mickey dies too. But G2 got themselves in this situation. They should have known. They should have just sent Cap Spot. Or like, Yike hovered a bit longer. doesn't have the assistance needed to get out of the river. Once the Braum Q is applied, it becomes a very easy chase down. I got Zedge onto El Yoya. Broken Blade trading in. Okay, get save the Crux for Zyra. Worth no flash. All that extra attack speed hey, hey, so hey, hey, leave those Crux alone, buddy. You were talking about. It does mean that Broken He's Blade checking no if Vi comes back. Ultimate. Mirwin always has his, obviously. Here's the mid lead. Gets the demolished proc gets his first plate of the game. And that's going to let Mirwin play more aggressively consistently now because he's seen that the ultimate has been used. But it's I crazy, no? Is, is Draven is running bot. So they have no priority. And you can see they split apart. Uh, it's the, the, it's the Draven the move. They need to the figure out how to stay to five men on these grubs to secure them without splitting up after the objective. So time, which is great, but the reality is they just don't have numbers. I Mirwin think the answer is have they have to swap full swap. Or Draven just doesn't move in the first place. So with Hans Summer, who has the majority of G2's gold lead on him, or the lead that they have uh, in any lane, going down towards the bot lane, MDK BB needs to Basically get this wave out, but top side now they have a lead in jungle and in mid. Can he get this wave out? Can he ignore Mew him? Uh, sorry, Broken Blade brother doesn't have ulti still, so he, yeah, just I mean, this nearly has Bramble Vest exactly like play like the steel caps. Fight. He's playing with no fear right now because he absolutely can. The out of mana Broken Blade as well means there's no all in threat. Nice play. Yes, he has Blade in base now for sure. I would imagine. Oh no, he cancelled his recall. Maybe he doesn't. Now the thing is, this champion, it really doesn't. Strangely, walks up like that. Really doesn't contribute that much in terms of. Well, Nidalee will fast push because she's under the impression that Irelia has base, so Irelia is going to stay, catch the wave, and then she should have Blade. Just kind of have the side lane. Don't forget, Mad only have one TP this game. Um, you offer no real utility in team fights, especially when you're the tank build and not AP. You don't have a poke win con either. You are purely a side laner. The reality is, we'll see if that matters in the end. They're Q flashing onto Ari. The Magnus Storm. They go onto Frescawi, who spirit rushes away. Caps holding onto the Emperor's Divide. The charm hitting onto Mickey, but 
again for Scary burning that flash is all that really happens in that sequence. Okay, well, Ari no flash, I guess. Now I'm looking at the next game booming thing, I think, is Han Summer's stacks, right? If Han Summer dies with these stacks, or if he manages to secure them, it's going to be massively influential to the game. Yeah, it's about a 700 gold swing yeah. from the stacks, right? 2.5. Three, three stacks so on the cull sucks. Yeah, exactly. Surely really has blade, right? Yeah. All right, I think top is going to be really rough for Mirwin now. The good news is he has ignite. He's going to push out that top wave. He really has full build now. Blade is not making his way down. Makes sense. And someone has to be careful here. Is more control is gained from MDK as they start to make their way through the bot side of the river. But they don't look a bit. All right, so no dragon star actually from either side. Yeah, I think if I'm the side of uh, G2, Ooh, I want to look for a timing where BB can TP because then you flex that TP advantage that Mirwin doesn't have, and that way you can get more of a convincing fight um, so that Draven doesn't risk losing the stacks because you have numbers advantage. So what I want One to see stack. now is BB get the push, threaten One with more that stack blade on King because you're so Hans much stronger right BT now. And base. And then side lanes for G2 potential. are decent. Drake's up, the, they need uh, to get Drake. Sneakers or symbiotic souls here. And Matt are oh, pinging no, Herald, I think. The symbiotic <laughs> souls, is that actual name? Uh, so maybe that's a straight up trade here. It was. Yeah, because <laughs> well, it's not something we commonly see. Like, you, in the past, sometimes you see a support go Mobies, especially in solo queue, just to get around the map a little so bit more. So can't play aggro. Mirwin can walk up. Plates are off. On 14, if Vi hovers, they could get first tower top, but G2 will enter, I think, on bot. What they do give you is basically an empowered recall every time you want to recall. Gets you a bit more tempo on the map and gives you that move speed when they upgrade after you've moved the uh, the requisite 150,000 units across the map. Do you want to know my favorite symbiotic souls tech? Yeah. Fly them on action and spin around a tower, and they stack. <laughs> <laughs> and they stack. A look at here comes the counterplay. They TP. In. They match TP. It's a five v three on a tower. Mad can defend this. It's huge. Draven getting a reset. Draven has got 800 gold on the reset. One it's two for one. Nibby will get top tier one. Vi is going to get mid tower. They're going to lose mid and top tier one here at G2. They need to kill and get the tower. They're essentially trading three kills for one for two towers. Frescawi getting a kill here will be huge. He does. So they go three for two on bots. They get top tier one. Here's the Herald mid. Mid tower dies. Top tower dies. It's kind of good for G2 because of the Draven cash out, but the map is a horror on the top side. MDK because they find caps in that dive. Yeah, I like the way in which MDK respond. Ultimately, MDK still get two kills. Draven just got a shit play. ton of gold. They unlock a lot of map control. But you did just lose top and mid tier one. Towers. And while Broken Blade does find some kills, the gold difference between the top laners isn't that big of a deal. Trinity Force now completed for Mia win as well. Yike is forced to retreat, but let's look back at how this dive came to be. Yeah, so the dive starts, and in the end, I wonder how Caps managed to take aggro. I think they tried to take turret before the dive comes through, but regardless, it's a massive numbers advantage for G2. The dive comes through. Super has barrier and uh, bone plating, but he falls instantly, and you can see the power of Rally with that Blade of the Ring Kick. Frescawi utilizes his mobility very well, positions in a way to make sure that the charm connects onto Mickey, who is taking that tower aggro and then the team knowing that they have numbers advantage want to get the extra kill here the charm comes through I was, ashes in at the end I yeah i think he wanted the shield from his e yeah. right but i wonder why no one else took aggro beforehand maybe they thought they could take the tower beforehand and just dive but still slight blunder from g2 regardless still a decent play well for scary though means he's sitting at three one and one malignants already complete on the other side caps yet to pick up a kill this game gold basically even about 500 between the two teams a yeah game's two and pretty a half even minutes though on the really has built. g2 have secured the first two of double the game. recurbo we won't be seeing six uh, drops anywhere i don't know is uh, he building wits and and terminus or something i don't know what the fuck's he building tower the next neutrals are that dragon terminus is only one recurbo now so it's definitely so not terminus but maybe he wants wits and and terminus so he's just and going double recurbo for now matched, um caps into him because mirwin is full armor it's red buff they don't want to really get into up. that and he can defend mirwin pretty easily so crazy how they did this whole bot play bb lost a full tower looks for potential plays on bot and um he's only down he's only he's even in gold gun if you want to shoot a predator instead he's gone for two bows one recurve and one, you know, traditional English longbow if he needs to go long range. So double recurve for him right now alongside of the Blade of the Ruin King, just giving him that extra attack speed. Uh, it's Bloodthirster for Han Summer and he has a BF sword in one his pocket. Top. Now finishes it into Goes that to 31, huge. Be careful because he might be the one yeah. hunted as yeah. Eldora and Alvaro once again. Great to see this synergy return for that jungle support duo. Uh, and it's really done MDK so many favors.
They set Trying the cover this bot tier one. How will G2 respond as Mirwin now makes his way down? It's a very scary fight into G2 because BB has no way. All three outers right? down so for G2. Way back and he doesn't want to fight without it. The bomb CC coming in. The so device, good news for G2. Well. They've got the soul running. Really fast, so they just good news up. for Mad. That's Their the mid game is really strong with Ari and Vi being ahead. One. And they have all three outers, so, so their map control is good. They just need to get this Raven down. Matt's comp only really goes in one direction, so. You say with that but I think Mad's comp right is going to fall off a cliff. Nidalee, Vi, and Ari? Really? I would heavily favor G2 if this game carries on the way it goes. The heal from Mirwin will give attack speed, though, as Cap slides in. Mirwin takes a chunk of his HP for this. Hans Summer gets the knockback whirling. Death has to be flashed. Caps flashes oh, forward, caps. though, and Mirwin here. Caps, caps, caps. Can he ult anyone here? Oh, what? Is he saved by Mickey? Nice ult by Alyoya. Oh, Mickey went in to try and save him and died. What a blunder by G2. They should be in time for Drake, but this is a horrific play. He went for the finish on Nidalee. Bad, bad, bad. Greedy by Caps, very greedy. As MDK find another massive fight. It starts out with a blunder from Caps, overextending under the tier one tower, but then, you know, G2, they double down. I just heard someone crack open a drink. Mirwin survives on this play because of the heal, which is fantastic, but then the play continues. GT keep trying to bail out Caps here. Mickey actually gets a nice interrupt on the Vi Q here, I believe, with his ultimate, but then they're under tower. If this tower wasn't here, someone just cracked fine, open a cold one. pretty with the amount of cancels they got, but the tower just does too much damage. Oh, you're able to tank up the, uh, the ultimate as well. Thanks to his ulti. And again, a, just a numbers advantage situation. G2 yep. and Caps out of Okay, Drake started. G2 get Drake for free. The reason is, man have no ults. The they don't have Vile. They don't have Zerial. They need these ults for fights. G2 get the so G2 are well, on sole point after that fight in mid. Had, they lost a lot of HP in that exchange. Yeah. And so then Draven still being full HP. It's a difficult objective to contest. Yike is able to No ults, no fight. Quickly secure that objective. So instead they turn their They had Nidalee ult though. Oh, okay. As you rightly highlight, G2 now put themselves at sole point, and both teams are going to be looking for a fight in the near future. And MDK do have this deep vision that was placed while we were in that replay, which is <laughs> Chad, what Mickey is now One of the chatters makes a joke, they all just the spam fucking MDK red emotes. You're so annoying. Shut up. Mickey stepping forward, Bolt Breaker oh. just short. Shadowing Strike with the sun, the Magnus Sword coming out as well. Mickey looking for it, TP's immediately as yeah, soon as the doing a lot here, but Hansama is dead. There it is. MDK. Here comes the Aurelia. There goes the Aurelia. Here comes the Nidalee. He got one actually. Crazy by BB that he got one there. Oh, he's super to center with the flash. Oh my god, Caps failed the combo. Caps can't finish off Super, can he? He just finished him off. Frescoe. Oh, Caps walked into the REQ. Oh, he caps his mechanics in that fight. Were... I mean, Caps' his mechanics this series are a bit. Oh. I think what he thought that there he could do was buy enough time with an English Not so good. TPs could come through and the extended play with the time he bought would be winning for their well side. Well played by BB though. The so fact that he got one there was nuts. In the first place. You see nothing and Summer just got tapped. Could have gone out here. It's MDK using all the vision that they'd set up to set up a trap onto Mickey. Han Summer though is left Can't isolated move. when the engage comes through and that target selection was fantastic. Then the Aurelia comes in for the engage. I do think he wants to lock up Frescawi, but this is where you see the Braum acting so much value. Stunning up this Aurelia making it so difficult for her to play into the fight especially without the support of her team now Mickey looking for more again, again. mid Hans has to flash the, the charm here but Frescawi saving it MDK. didn't find it Hansama flashes away the no charm flash on Hansi the gold is exactly where Mad needed to be mid jungle are really strong in MDK's eyes a series that was expected to go G2's way they were able to find all these comebacks against Fnatic and the criticism was levied towards them around can they fix their early games and MDK is challenging them they're looking to fight them they're skirmishing them and here in game RG2 five, fraudulent they're looking to get the better of them they have a strong lead they have the kill G lead BB then sold one of the Reaper bows to buy Witsend Caps is not making the plays that we normally see from the man in the mid and if you told me it would be Mirwin and Friskawi gapping this entire series I, I would not you know be in this position to believe you but Friskawi is playing so much better Caps with the blunders in the mid lane under the tower, and then that failure of a shuffle onto Super. Not playing like the person we thought. Am I was. cooked, Chad? Okay, the, uh, the resilience as well. Game one I'm cooked. was once Everyone shut up. G2 got that massive the, lead. Okay. 
and Shut up. just closed out the game quickly. Shut up. MDK bounced back, then game Shut up. three. They were 200 HP away from winning that game as well. And still they've managed to bounce back. MDK, oh, we have <laughs> Don't seen... Don't do exclamation mark rank. Shut up. Even throughout spring, perhaps would have collapsed by this point, but the time they spent together... The when did they take it out of hard found next? Catching Mickey here. Ultrashock laser, Cavs diving in for Mirwin. Wait, what's Mirwin doing? The Flash does have the pounce to try to they dash have on Ari. but G2 are collapsing on him and Mirwin has no way to get away from this. Mickey with the Magna Storm locks up El Yoya. The Glacial Fish are coming out from Alvaro. Stranglethorn's just short of the knockup. Super and Vizcawi are starting to collapse. Watch out for the Viari. Super could dash in, but immediately would be met by G2. Who have found one kill in this. Mirwin down 30 seconds before he'll respawn. There's a tower in the top lane and G2 will set their eyes upon that. Does leave mid completely open though, looking for a scow. He makes his way towards the wave, catches it, starts pushing that in. He may even be able to set up a siege, but numbers difference. G2 have five. Caps has flash, Caps has oh, flash. Oh, he got him. He found the road. Away from it. They got a force the Nash, but Yike tanked the tower. It was an imaginary number, but this mm. time it they can't do Baron. It's not Scowie's really that worse. The tower will fall in the top lane. It's G2 really... Start to back uh, away for it's Scowie's good that they killed him, but they're going to lose mid tier three. Before G2 are back out on the map, but they they the don't get anything yet. off it. Scowie will take the mid in him tower. And I wondered uh, if it's G2 not really worth it. There's no flash on Azir or ult, and it's 40 seconds till Soul. Not a good timing. On to the next dragon, securing Mountain Soul. My goodness, G2. If Yike wasn't tanking tower, it's maybe they could go Baron, but. They consistently find these picks. They, they get Dragon Pryo? I don't think they get Dragon Pryo either. Prepared, they don't really get anything. You. I think G2 have to MK, give up Dragon. They found so many good fights. They've been punishing maybe the they can try and rush Nash with Yikes ult over the wall G2 or something, but the 5v5. I don't think uh, they're when it getting comes to these much. Isolated targets, these side lanes, that is where G2 has been getting Draven cashed out. Yeah, I don't know how much he cashed out. Mirren's no, called again? Flash. No. He's doing a little bit more of a chase. Broken play going in with the flaws. Duet dodges the spear. And the oil on the flank. Nearly ult is up. Oh, okay, thanks for that. Yeah, sorry about that wits ending. I'm completely boosted. Sorry about that. Uh, my brain is. I apologize. I feel really stupid. Stun misses. I feel like G2 could look to try and pull them into Baron here, but they're going to play for the face check. Yike has flash if he wants to full send the steel, but obviously if you do that and you don't get it, you're going to lose Baron. I don't think Mickey has uh, Warmogs, he has Locket, so... They just have to HP give. No yeah. Alright, first dead. dragon over to Matt. Mickey's Mickey's based. Frescoe has a great positioning. He can't on his recall there, Mickey. This could be bad. They have the tower, though. Mickey, a mega engage. Caps is looking for Super, and he finds him. Mickey goes down, though. AD for support trade. Hansama's cooking the mad lines, though. Does G2 take that and go Baron? Do they take that and go Baron? They take it and go Baron. Frescoe has TP. Mickey, Mickey hands and caps, gone. big. Really good engage by Mickey to allow caps and Yikes to kill off Zeri. G2 get Nash. That's massive for the game state. These champions are going to fall off. They're slowly falling off. And it ends up spilling their resources far too So Caps Let's look back at how this full sends the tower, so and then he instantly puts his passive up of the tower, and Zonia's is recalled, the charm as well. Would have he missed maybe anyway. Well. BBR flashes on to Super with Caps and Yike, and Mickey and, those and Hans 2v3 them. Dealing with the bot lane of G2 on the other side, Broken Blade is diving onto the AD carry. And trying to make it as difficult as possible for Super to play. And I can tell you right now, Broken Blade is making his life difficult. If that Braum isn't there, he just has free reign onto this area. Nearly has Abyssal Mask now. Thorns coming out from Yike just means you have to evacuate the dance floor. You can't stay there in Tango. And we saw Super being caught out by G2, who now have the Baron. Still the gold lead in MDK's favor, but it's only 200 right now. So they lost tempo on the map here, G2, for, for that Baron. G2. They've technically lost They're pushing out bots. 700 gold off it so far. You get 1.5k just for taking the beast. Now MDK still on the front foot. Caps facing. Wonder if he's finished that Leandries now. Has the haunting guys and the fated assets. There we go. Zonya's on its way back off cooldown as well. Two items across the board. Well, Broken Blade has two. There's two for Yike. Caps on three and on some are the same. Only two for Super yeah, so capsules. far. Three for Fiscawi, Alioyo on two and Mirwin. The Abyssal Mask is being completed for him. 
upping the damage output of Frescawi in these fights. And I don't think what we haven't seen enough of from MDK is utilizing that Ari Vai duo to just full send onto a target. I think G2 has done a really good job of just huddling together and making it super hard to find target for access. A onto caps. And because of that, I think that's why G2 have been winning. Does Caps have his passive? MDK put really on mid tier one here. Needs to caps could die here. Charm fishing with so they see Vi? Well. He sees Vi now. One of the best fights they found was when. Uh, they set up this pocket of vision, they find yeah. this pick on the Mickey, and then they collapse Two minutes on the Draven, right? Who doesn't get an opportunity to move. Oi, Mickey. To find these picks as G2 Can't do that against Braum the on the tower. Comes in from the flank, they really want to force this mid at uh, top two, tier two. They yeah. show top, so Cap should get a bit of mid push, but he's a bit scared. Oh, here comes Fresco and Elioia. They're going to go for it again. Elioia Next mid wave, try and make the play. Matter faking something top, maybe Caps they can make the play mid. Here he goes, Caps. WEQ. Sonia. He, he, he has no flash. He can't flash the charm. Doesn't matter. Mistimed anyway. They wouldn't have been able to kill no matter what. TP from Broken Blade saves him. Now there's no there's no Vi ult, there's no Ari ult. Everything from Matt is gone. No Vi Ari ult, mid tier 2 will die. They'll push, they'll go top, top tier 2 will die. And then they'll basically go to Drake. G2 will control the game. Can they dive I was worried that. I thought Caps might be going for something crazy. Dive is risky. Maybe they, they should base now, G2. Go oh it. my god. They're going to stay around for this. And the Baron should expire soon. And next wave Drake in a minute. They might have They're going to try and force on this wave. No Viarial. There they go. They Zyro the just to zone them away. This is their opportunity they take it. They push out their base. They go to Drake. All right. So here comes the final fight in a minute. You can see they're sprinting to try and get there first. Try and play the face check, slow them down. Does Zeri have IE in base or shield bow or anything? IE. All right. Wonderful. Zeri strong at least. Double so Abyssal Mask, Sterax. Exactly Here it comes. Playing the face check will be hard. G2, 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 G2 needs to push, push mid really hard. Maybe put a zero passive here or something and try and flush them out. A bit tricky. Bot wave kind of sucks. I mean, G2 could just run it down here. Caps knows on, yes. Mickey's engaged. Might have bought time. Caps is going to... Oh, the stun hits. Hands kill super, but Bibi's losing to Mirin 1v1. This is bad for G2. Yike doesn't have ult either. I think Matt might just end the game. They're TPing bots, they can't end. Caps goes too far. He has no Zonias, he can't do that. There was no Zyro, there's no Zyra flash, there was no Aurelia flash. They missed so many key spells. Can they end? Yike doesn't have Zonias. I think Yike should sell his Rylize and upgrade Zonias if he has to. It just feels like with the but fight, no, the way fine. that G2 want to fight is they want the enemy to come into them. Because you, you're fine. trying to run into a Draven and a Zera and a Zyra, you're going to have a really bad time. But they Caps can't then. They lose Spin in him. Like you said, Thedias. And it's just not optimal. And then the 1v1 and They get Drake. They lose spot tier 2. Big play by, big play by man. Big play. Big play. A lot of summoners used. Caps and Han Summer now without Super, of course, did have to flash as well. But Frescao, is in a great position on this Ari. They'll deny the soul once more. And MDK telling G2 that we I think G2 is still favored, but like so this, this timing from Caps was horrendous. I don't think his Zonius is on cooldown either. And Mickey tries to break up the engage from the Vi and the rest by engaging on the backline, breaking up the ability to DPS. Now Caps is completely strand in isolation. He almost takes down Super. Take a look at topside. BB falls. This was a huge surprise to me, but I guess the, this is the state of Nidalee at the difference. moment. Yeah, exactly. Cutting the healing potential. And uh, I mean, one crucial thing as well, Yike over the wall doesn't actually land the route. He kind of predicts that they'll walk forward and he completely misses it, which means that Frescawi then has this free way back into the fight. If he could have been denied, there could have been an opportunity for Han Summer to really unleash in the fight. Uh, but uh, yeah, huge credit to him. And you can see Frescawi how close on the side, really Baron are, in 10. ultimately we're still four members Yikes, of not MDK 16. staying alive. They secure first inhibitor of the game. Baron is coming back up. We return to mid lane. Perhaps Caps trying to punish Nidalee's Flash going Sterex. Hard. Needs to tunnel a little bit less on the shuffle. And I feel like just needs to auto attack. If he just sits in the back line, that's how G2 Hans wants this game. that red buff. He really wants that red buff. Yeah, I think you summarized it really well. They want MDK to Where's Caps' is passive? Them. Vi diving in. Ari trying to follow. They have so many tools to disengage. Are they going to fight over this red buff? Re they got it, G2. W out from Mickey or Hex Flash. Hex Flash. 
Baron's up. Just gonna catch the wave. The upside, All right, the upside now yikes! Close to 16. Is there, right? So this dive is gonna be a lot less painful. I think uh, that was a really big. He too have a lot. Mad have a lot. I don't know. It's anyone's game at this point. Super has no flash. Do they not have a zero passive? On the line between these two teams. Alvaro's big knock. Up. Fish coming out. Over the wall. Charm hits Caps. He's gonna get one shot here. Caps down. The Zyro ult's good, but they flash out of it. Mickey can't get in a good engage. Nice Q flash by Alyoya. Their wife, J2's done! They're done! They're done. It's over! There's no way! G2 is done! They are done! What? It's a one-sided ace and a massive upset as MDK have done it. They will Matt take beat down G2. G2. Just For the first time in 2024, Mad Lions Koi will take a series of G2. They beat G2. What, a series in what on it? With Nidalee top. In the upper bracket. They will knock G2 down. A team that didn't win a single game in their playoffs. With Nidalee top. In summer playoffs. A team that barely even qualified for that playoffs. They made it to season finals on point. Takes down the summer split champions 3-2. to two. What a crazy glow up. From getting 0 2 by KC to, and spending four weeks developing your own meta, your own picks, and really thriving now clearly against the best team in our league. And, I mean, you made the comment earlier. The bounce back needs to be studied. And Mirwin would be getting the better of their counterparts. That's a crazy I bounce back. Believed you, but they shone so brightly today, and it was an exquisite moment. Sure, there were moments where they were getting caught, there were oversteps, but ultimately, some very impressive play as MDK take down G2. And that is crazy. MDK players in our Kia player of the series vote at LEC on X Mirwin, Elioya, and Friskawi are your options the top side had a field day obviously alvaro and super had some great performances as well but those three the frescari mirwin alioyo combination really yo mirwin big shout out to mirwin mirwin for me i, yeah. I think mirwin I mean, the corky X factor game. of the yeah. pit. corky game alone <laughs> all, all of them honestly yeah. they were they're all fantastic outside maybe the lulu one even he won lane there um regardless i do feel like g2 were experimenting no ad carries in the mid lane I mean, there were question marks around their meta read uh, in, the, in the summer finals. And again, like we look in today, like zero AD carries played yep. in mid, not even a priority on the core key. Aurora permanently banned by them. Uh, the bigger thing for me is that MDK, I feel like ever since just... winter, identity has kind of been the conversation that we've had where like they haven't really had one. They've constantly been trying to find their foot in the meta. And now Game I feel like it's clear as day. G2 you know exactly lost. what you're going to get from this team. I feel like that they... <laughs> that is nuts. But I also think that they have Mad Lions are in or Munich. Or in the first Chat, how, how does it work for Worlds now? Showcasing both that kind of how does it work for Worlds now? So G2's locked Worlds. Fnatic and Mad are in the upper bracket. The winner of that series for sure goes to worlds the loser just depends on 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 championship points i guess thank you very much guys i'm here with the victorious alioya congratulations on that win i think mad's going to worlds mad is pretty much in worlds then i want to get your first impressions your first reactions obviously across social media and of course the, the people sentiment right like why the other teams basically need to make the finals to stop it right here why do they have to play against g2 you come in you take them by storm beating the summer split champions give me give me your thoughts on that i mean about this i have i think a really strong opinion because mm -hmm. many people just said that we didn't deserve to be here when the format has been like this since the beginning to me it seems really unfair that we have been a, a better consistent like a more consistent team yep. than all others because and that's the reason why we are here true and i think today it showed up that we can be a really good team true now of course there's a bunch of sentiment for previous iterations of uh, mud lions that you have been a part of right and all the best offs but i want to get back into this series it was a very tense series <laughs> and when you came in G2's this year with class. this roster you guys brought chaos when it came to the draft and usually it was g2 that was bringing this today. Do you feel like the chaos that you guys bring, the new picks, maybe put them into a corner today? I think they for sure did. Yo, EU I has some fun ass drafts. Huh? Even ourselves, we were not expecting some of the champs. That EU has some okay. crazy so, ass drafts. But overall, I'm really happy that we could take this identity back. I think we are back. <laughs> okay. So, 
I'm really happy right now. Uh, and overall, I think it was a really great series to watch, really entertaining, 4-1 for us. Mm -hmm. The game that we should have ended and we didn't end, that's a 4-1, so we take those. You know what, I wanted to ask you about that game. Please do walk me through game number three. What was it? Two auto attacks potentially from the Nexus falling? What happened there? All I'm gonna say though, chat, is Caps didn't look good this series. And when Caps doesn't look so good, G2 looks still, I think we played better. Rough. I would say that then we rough. We didn't play better than them the fight, so we lost and we deserved like, to lost. If Caps That's was on point, he probably would have just carried them in that last game. And for the whole team. I mean you guys were literally two auto decks from killing the Nexus, so it, it maybe counts, not maybe on paper, but it sure counts in the way that you guys played to get to that Nexus, right? Now I wanna take it a little bit over to the jungle. That was a very Vi centric series. Whether you played the Vi, whether the Vi was taken away, whether you were picking the Morgana to, to in. counter the Vi, why do you think this champion Caps was like priority in the LEC? Last game I mean, a bit struggling. It fits European teams really well. Like it gives a really easy engage and it's really in, like uh, good to make catches and to just catch um, people m mispositioned. And I think today there were a lot of mistakes. Even in game five, you could see that. Uh, just overall, we were, like, there were a lot of peaks, so I think Vi is really good at, the, at that. And what do you think about the Morgana counter pick? Because we saw it yesterday as well, right? Yeah. Razok picked the Vi, and there was Shio picking the Morgana, but it didn't necessarily really matter. I think it's a good answer. It requires good hands, which I didn't have to do with the Morgana. So I think it has more potential than I showed, but still, it does the job. Like I think that uh, game three, we should have won it with how ahead we were with Zeri Morgana. It's really easy. I just put Black Shield on him and he goes forward. So it's a strong combo for sure. Now, I guess there's a few complications where there's more than one CCs for you to Black Shield, right? You yes. gotta be on your A game. And sometimes when there's too many things happening, it's very difficult. Now, I wanna ask you about something that you mentioned earlier. You said we even brought our picks, we weren't even expecting. Uh, we saw a Nidalee, we saw a Vex, we saw Yo, Mirwin is really fun to watch. Lane. I want to ask you from your side as a jungler, is really fun how to watch. does that have any implications on your playstyle? Because suddenly you can have a tank top lane, right? And you don't even have to pass towards I will a say, permapath bot lane. He's definitely brought a lot of spice However, to top lane. Over to the top he's the map, he's really like really pushing, really right? pushing for creativity. So and I was critical of him because before this series, in the K-Corp series and like this TF picks, he looked mega like useless. Weird champions, which honestly I don't care. I really like when he plays these champions. Mm -hmm. but, um, but after the Corky he played, you know, like I just have to be silent and like, appreciate <laughs> him, you know? Like he, he took us to here. It would be a 0-3 if not, so hey. It's good. It Mirwin was great to all watch. Right, so if you could put him on any pick at all, it's not Mirwin, you take the nameplate off, he's waiting over in PGL, what champion would you put him on? For the top lane? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Jungler shared opinion here. A good yeah. Renekton is a just... A good Renekton? A good Renekton, dream, yeah, you know? it Easy is. Easy setup, strong, uh, it gives you anything. Perfect. Thank you very much, Elioia, for this interview. We're going to toss it over to PGL with Draco Spin and Mirwin and play some... Chat, I've been streaming for almost 13 hours. I will see you tomorrow for some more League of Legends, more LPL playoffs. It's AL versus FPX. Um, there's also some T1 Academy, I think. So I'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. I hope you had fun watching the games. We watched like 12 hours of League of Legends as per usual on the weekends. Really fun. And oh no, it's not, it's not FPX versus AL tomorrow. It's JDG versus... Um, JDG versus Nip, right? JDG's playing tomorrow versus Nip. Damn, rookie versus Yagugu. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, okay? Big kiss. Shout out to all the lurkers, bidders, gifters, shatters, subbers, donors. I appreciate you all for hanging out, coming out, and chilling. Shout out to the rats, uh, all the lurkers, and uh, yeah, all the plebs. I appreciate you all for coming out. Take care, sleep well, stay safe, enjoy LCS. And yeah, thank you always for choosing me as your co streamer and watching the games alongside me. I hope I made it a little bit more fun. Peace.